I'm John Mead with Cellar Ridge Construction and I'm here to talk to you about the Saffron Fields Winery and Tasting Room project. We're pretty excited about this project overall and it has some really neat green stories to it. One of the biggest green stories is uh, com comes from what you see behind me, the remnants of, of the old dairy barn that was built here in the early 1950s by old man Laughlin on the Laughlin farm. And uh, this was a dairy barn, functioning dairy barn for, for many years, but uh, as of late it was abandoned and, and just used to store some hay and, and a few other things. The architects were not able to figure out a, a good way to make use of that 22,000 square foot dairy barn in, as a winery or tasting room. It just didn't fit on the site with the, with the future uses, but we also wanted to preserve as much as we could out of that dairy barn. And so we've hired reclaiming wood specialist, the Wood is Wonderful Foundation with legendary wood reclaimer Rich Mathis, uh, who's pulled down, painstakingly pulled down all the rafters and beams and even the tin roofing off of the old dairy barn for reuse on this project and, and others. There's an abundance of material that, that came out of that old barn. But we didn't stop there. We also looked at the concrete that was on the floor of that dairy barn, the slab, but also some huge water troughs and feeding troughs that were all cast concrete. And it turns out there was over a thousand tons of concrete in a conventional construction project, that concrete would have been hauled off to the landfill and uh, had just a tremendous environmental cost, both in, in you know, filling up uh, a precious landfill and also in just the fuel cost of hauling you know, a thousand tons of gravel. That's a lot of dump trucks you know, driving down the road, burning up fuel. Um, and so what we explored and, and turned out was a fantastic idea. It was crushing that concrete into two inch minus crushed urbanite gravel uh, is what we call that crushed concrete. And we're going to use that for road beds and in the parking lot as the base layer. On top of it will go some three quarter minus gravel to make the, the finished smoother gravel road and, and parking surface. But it makes a tremendous resource. And this is one of those instances where doing the environmental uh, environmentally the right thing also turned out to be an economic benefit to the project as well. You know, gravel is expensive and hauling in a thousand, fifteen hundred tons of gravel uh, is expensive and, and a lot of fuel, a big, uh, a big carbon footprint to bring in that gravel. And so in this instance, you know, we only have to pay six dollars per ton to crush this gravel. Of course, it was expensive to mobilize the equipment and, and run the equipment. So we had, you know, several you know, uh, $16,000 worth of expense to, to demo the concrete and, and crush it. But it turns out that we're actually saving about, you know, 17 to $20 per ton of gravel that we're able to reclaim. And so at, at 1,100 tons is what we think we're going to get out of this barn. We're actually going to fund all the deconstruction and save the carbon footprint of driving hundreds of dump truck loads to and from the quarry, to and from the, the uh, landfill and so this this uh, urbanite has just a, a great green story for for the saffron fields tasting room winery